the real reason why I changed whey protein and the knowledge behind it. Have the salsa, and the fuego, have the bottles, and the yellow, have the euros, and the peso, I can leave the, hit the quiero, no, I quit lo que quiere, soy yo, can you buy a sign us, do ni so, sorry, Malik fan, he's stupid though, then this in my bag, that this a lot, bitch. What's up everybody, it's the white boy from the yard and I'm back at it again with another video. Today we are talking about the reason why I switched whey proteins and is whey protein actually safe for you, safe to use and when to use it, how to use it, whatsoever and what protein shake to use. First of all, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any form of medical degrees or whatsoever, I don't pretend to be a doctor, don't listen to what I say, this is my opinion and my personal experience, always go to a doctor before using any form of supplements. So we got whey protein, we got... Uh, concentrate, we got isolate, we got hydrosolid, we got casein, we got all these forms of proteins but which one to use and why to use them or I started using whey protein when it just began with working out at first I didn't even know what I was doing I would grab my protein shake I would drink it and then I would go to the gym so complete nonsense but once I realized I had to consume it preferably like immediately post-workout and post-workout is right after the workout within a 45 minute window then I bought myself like a 12 pound bag of whey concentrate it was cheap it was it tasted great you know the mixability was good I drank it with milk because I was bulking but I bought myself a really big bag just because like I said it was cheaper and I didn't even really know what protein and I was just aiming for a cheaper one so I remember after drinking the whey concentrate shake it was 35 grams of protein in it I got a little stomach ache I, f I felt bloated and it didn't really feel the way it should be I guess but I was drinking it for the first time so I was like hey whatever my body needs to get used to it but you know at the end it did what it should do it gave me additional 35 grams protein on my daily protein intake post-workout as the dosage recommended as I read like everywhere online I remember at some point I thought okay I need to step it up for more clean gains I'm going to focus on whey isolate because I discovered a whey isolate um, digest quicker than the regular concentrate so your muscles will get into recovery mode faster. Also I wanted to get leaner so I drank it with water instead of milk and I could really notice the difference in taste and in the thickness of the powder concentrate is a little bit thicker and isolate is thinner and tastes a little worse but also did this for a while a couple of months maybe maybe even a year but at some point i realized like how is it possible that the human body i mean for someone like my size i'm not the biggest guy around there how is it possible for a guy like me to absorb 35 grams of protein immediately that couldn't be good, that couldn't be healthy, so that's, that's also a reason why I don't take hydrosolid, like 35 grams of hydrosolid. So I thought this can't be possible without interfering with any liver, kidney uh, functions or even other body functions. You know, I didn't believe that. So, so yeah, I researched some things on whey protein and I found out that, that whey protein is actually toxic for the liver when overdosing or consuming too much. I didn't really find that out because there, there were some studies and, and such but at the end it's not really true because there isn't that much proof on it but let me clarify this first the actual theory behind it let's say as a normal person like me or maybe someone who doesn't even go to the gym your body can consume and absorb 10 grams of protein each hour so if you drink a protein shake with 35 grams of protein in it what happens to the other 25 grams of protein because there's still the 25 percent protein left and your body can't seem to use it so of course what's not used gets spilled over to what to fat so amazing your post-workout shake got 50 grams of whey protein in it and you can't seem to get rid of that belly fat or bloated stomach well that's probably because somewhere around 40 grams is getting spilled over the fat so think again when you're consuming like a lot of whey protein at once and with whole foods it's a little different because these micronutrients just work different and on a whole other level or if you eat it with carbs and fats then it will slow down the digestive process as well okay so now what kind of protein powder am i using right now and i actually never thought i would say this but it's actually a protein blend and a protein blend is just a combination of all different types of protein powders this one has six different forms of protein in it and additional glutamine peptides so one serving is 32 and a half grams of protein but this protein doesn't get absorbed immediately so it takes a while to digest in total but it gets used by the body piece by piece without spilling over the fat it contains 25 percent of whey concentrate which is the most standard protein out there it's a medium fast absorbing one now 
I quit this one years ago actually because it digests slower than I want it. But now in combination with the other proteins it's actually good because I will have fast acting, medium acting or slow acting at the same time. So now the digestive ability helps me get something positive out of it instead of something negative. Okay, it got 15% micellar casein. It's a protein form you best to consume before bed because it has a really slow digestive pattern. We got 15% caseinate of calcium, which is also a casein. We got 15% egg protein, which speaks for itself, right? And then at the end, you got 15% whey isolate, which was the fast absorbing one which I used before this. And then we got the 50% whey hydrosolid, which was the super fast acting one. And then we got the additional 5% uh, glutamine peptides. Now you see that the whey isolate and the whey hydrosolid are just a small part of this protein shake. So just a small part, let's say 10 grams get absorbed immediately and the rest takes a little bit longer. So your body uses everything. I use all day protein now by XXL Nutrition. Uh, Dutch supplement company as well as actually all the other protein powders I've used mostly come from mixed cell nutrition So yeah, I switched it up because I don't want any protein to get spilled over the fat That's just a waste of protein. That's just a waste of money and that shit is just stupid Okay, of course, I only suggest to take a whey protein shake post-workout So right after the workout when you don't have that much time and you can't seem to get a whole meal in right after the workout Then a protein shake is a good option and at the end regular food like whole foods is always better in my opinion because all the micro micronutrients and whatsoever but it's just the best source of protein there is as well as carbs and for fats and but protein powder does come in handy actually when you're running out of time like i said to bump up your daily calorie intake or you can't seem to eat as, eat as much food as you like so a decent high quality not the crap form of protein isn't a bad idea to take on a daily basis and won't give you any liver or kidney damage when taken correctly but at the end this was my body and how my body responded on the form of concentrate and whatsoever i really noticed the fat gain and i always thought i was doing a good job because i was getting 30 to 35 grams of protein immediately post-workout but my body wasn't using it so, so i would get fatter and fatter and of course that's not what we want we want to get leaner we want to get bigger at the same time so yeah that was actually it about for the study I've done to myself with the whey protein what whey protein I use now why I use this whey protein so yeah that was it for today's video again thanks a lot for watching don't forget to subscribe click on the bell to turn on post notifications go to anabolic TV by enhanced athlete and subscribe there as well go to my Instagram which is that white boy from the yard go follow there as well do the same thing on my Facebook which is that white boy from the yard and that was it actually thanks a lot for watching again Sorry, Malik, I'm a stupid dog. Then there's a bag that is a lot, bitch.